What is up, you guys? We are back, finally, after a bit of a hiatus with the Bonehawk podcast. A lot has happened since the last podcast that we did back in February, I think. Jesus, yeah. So, it's been a bit of a time. I'm joined here by uh, Mr. Moss and Hater currently. What's up, gentlemen? Hello. Hi. And we are waiting on Mason the Moo Cow to uh, jump in whenever he gets home from the Gaim. He's been trying to bulk up, apparently. Which would... For Gaim? Is that his, his uh, French companion? <laughs> his French <laughs> companion? Doesn't that sound like a French name? Well, I guess, I guess Guy. Guy? See what I did? I turned the American name Guy into the French Guy, and I don't know. Uh-huh. I'm confused. Oh, there Ignore there me. He is. There he is. He... Oh, sorry about that. My headset was unplugged, so I just had to panic. This whole time? Oh. No, not this one. Oh. I was at the gym, and then I had to get some gas on the way home. I was going to say, we've been talking shit about you for like 20 minutes, so that would be really <laughs> awkward. <laughs> You've been there the whole time. Just been in the chat with my mic off. <laughs> Lucky I could have. <laughs> yelling back at me. I can't even hear you, so I won't oh, shut yeah. up. Everyone knows that. <laughs> So, so uh, did you did you start recording? Well, we are recording. <laughs> we are recording. Oh, right? okay. So uh, thanks oh, for make, thanks for making that awkward. But we're <laughs> I'll fill you in on our uh, on our. I basically want to talk about today, but like uh, where we think injustice is right now. Is it dead? Is it not? Um, how successful it was overall, and then talk a little bit about Mortal Kombat 11. What our hopes are. What kind of what we want from it, and then just general fighting game stuff after that. So. Shouldn't go super long, an hour, hour and a half, something like that. If you guys need to wake up earlier, some shit like that, I don't know. Yeah, if I need to bounce, I'll just tell you. <laughs> just, just, just let me know, man. Just let me know. Mm-hmm. Just I'll just leave the chat. You won't even <laughs> you ask me a question, out. I won't even answer. <laughs> just, just slither out. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess we'll start with uh, the first question. So, Injustice 2. Is it currently dead? No. No. I'm, no, no, I'm just keeping yet. it alive right now. Like, <clears throat> like IPS. Last chance qualifiers keeping it alive. So you think it'll die after that? I think it'll definitely slow down. It's I think people are down. people are ready to stop grinding for a little bit and decompress with some other games. I think from what I've been seeing on Twitter and things like that, I agree that IPS is probably keeping up the momentum. And once that's over, it'll probably lose some steam. But it's kind of, I think that. NRS got out of it what they wanted to, even if there's downtime in between the next game or what have you. I think that they it's a success if you, in the context that NRS set out to achieve what they wanted to, right. like what their idea of uh, it was. I hope they made a lot of money. <laughs> they probably sure. did. Looking forward to the next game. What, uh, what are your thoughts, Mr. Moss? What do you think about uh, where we're at currently? Um, well, currently, I'd say it's not dead, and I don't really know if it's dying, but, like, it's a small community now, and... So it's dead. <laughs> Jesus. It, it's it's dead. You're, about, you're about to it's trigger like, half of YouTube. Yeah. I can I can feel the comments already in the shit. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just trying to save your ass, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the game's definitely not as dead, popular as it was. Dying. I think it's slowly bleeding out. Yeah, yeah well, I kind of, I kind of get that kind of feeling. Casual scenes yeah. dying out. <laughs> That's yeah, all it is. Look at how, and they can't really do this till IPS is over. So who knows what's going to happen? What's really annoying to me is just how silent they are. There's no anticipation of everything. Should I yeah. invest in the game? Is it ever going to change? Because I'm kind of bored right now, but if they shake up the meta a little bit, it might make it fun again. Like, well, that's what I'm wondering. What they like... just did with Ten- Tekken with Season 2 and Killer Instinct, we saw we're on like Season 3, right? And every time you introduce new characters, the meta shifts... And it's been the same core game since like 2013. Here we can barely squeeze two years out of an NRS game. Like, yeah. I hope the next Mortal Kombat, whatever it is, is a very strong core thing. And that's because we've it never alive been able to keep the game though. NRS always has its cycle. We finally broke the cycle. Now everyone's bitching about it. Well, it's because that's what they're used to, right? We've never known anything else. They set that expectation. People have the right. That's what I'm saying. So then, why is everyone like freaking out about wanting a game that lasts for so long and we've never had that? Like, I don't think people like the two-year cycle. I think they're annoyed. Like, I see people all the time talk about how they're grind their asses off, and then it's just time to move on to the next game. And then you've got the people that like Injustice better than Mortal Kombat. The people like Mortal Kombat. 
better than Injustice, and I don't know why the two can't just <laughs> coexist with a similar platform like other game developers do. Yeah, like yeah uh, that's just the outside. Are. That's the outside community, I think, button in because I know there's a lot of competitive NRS players that won't play that you just don't see in the top like you used to see in the top in MKX. Just so who do we used to see a lot in top eights in MKX that we don't see in Injustice at all? Maybe we saw at the beginning, but not it took so much. Scar time. like fucking two years. To start I can think of Silver Eye right? too. Destroyer's uh, not. Yeah, he doesn't play. Destroyer so. hasn't. He played a little bit at first. Some very BJT beginning and videos. MIT. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And his brother. Neither of them. Uh, I just played DJT and rank the other day. They'll, they'll he's been playing again. I saw him at Evo. Yeah, they'll be at SCR. Oh, cool. So that's oh, kind of interesting. Hope they win. I hope they win. Just yeah. Good sure. for them. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like <laughs> Young yeah. Monster and Rabbit Leafing both. They don't really play Injustice. They don't. They're pretty open about that. They don't like the game. They think yeah. it's a bad game. But I think they're just bad players that need to rely on MPX. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, okay. <laughs> here's they here's start the, trying to start some fires. <laughs> I, okay, I, I, I'm the last guy who should be talking shit about them. But like, if um, like I think a lot of I found a lot of people bitching about uh the zoning and stuff in Injustice Two, and I think a lot of it is because. There was really no neutral game in MKX. It was just get yeah, in true. and mix. You're not used to that. So if you're not used to playing neutral and you don't understand it, of course you're going to get zoned out a lot more. In a I think there's like a Justice balance game. to that, though, right? Like MKX was heavy rushdown, and yeah. I wouldn't say Justice is heavy zoning necessarily, but it's a big enough a part of the meta. It's yeah, like, like look how many top ten or fifteen characters or zoning characters or have at least zoning utility, even if they're not zoners. Yeah. Uh, like I don't know. I don't feel like it's like it's zoning intensive or like zoning focused by any means i mean i i don't really play injustice anymore and like the last six months that i played it i it was just pure relief if someone picked a character that didn't have a projectile jesus deep sigh of relief like now i just don't even have to deal with that it's not that i can't i just think it's annoying i don't enjoy it like yeah, yeah that's if right. i was playing another game with a mechanic i didn't enjoy i'd be like well i mean it looks pretty it's cool but i just the fun is uh just wait for that i gotta be careful i'm gonna end up on scrub close if i don't keep going like zoning yeah. Yeah. i understand its place in the meta i don't think that it's overpowered i do agree that the game is mostly balanced when people talk about how it's the most balanced that nrs has ever done i can't disagree with that yeah. that doesn't automatically mean that it's fun like i would oh, rather be playing man. like cheetah versus grod stuff like that like ugh, that shit is so fun <clears throat> Yeah, and just having to crawl your way in, just crawl your way in, or just get chipped, <laughs> even on block or whatever, just oh chipped my God. to death. It's just Dude, I like, I like playing Injustice too much more than I like playing MKX. Yeah, I played MKX I feel, on Ragnarok. I feel stream. so much, so much better after playing Injustice. You know, like myself as a player, I've grown so much learning from this game, and like the pace is so much better. I actually feel like I'm out playing people. Not like MKX, where I'm just like... Oh, you guess wrong. Where you're guessing, right? Next. Hope they've never fought a Shaolin Kung Jin before. I better just use my ball kick over and over. Like, <laughs> don't fucking... Rio talks about that a lot. <laughs> about yeah. there's just, like, too much guessing. That's kind of the problem, right? It's just yeah. coin flips. And there's no skill in that. It's just literally a guess. Yeah, I mean, I was surprised. I, I think, I mean, I, shit... I won two matches in a combo breaker playing MKX. And, like, I, I haven't played the game in, like, a year. Yeah, I, I thought I took two people out. <laughs> Makes it sound like a robot to anybody else, or is that just me? Yeah, a little bit. Sounds like that to me too. You're a little robot. Transform, <laughs> Mason. You like in your garage or something? Don't tell me you're in the bathroom talking to us on your wireless. Oh, I'm in the basement. Um, I have my mic in front of me. I'm not no. sure why it would be. I'm not sure. It's it is it still doing it? Uh, it's not as bad, but it's, it's a little bit there. So okay. okay, yeah, no problem. So okay, so IPS finals are coming up. Last chance qualifier. Interestingly enough, for um, the the first season last chance qualifier, they actually had it was like its own separate event that you went to, I believe. Right. And this time they just kind of just kind of coupled it in with ECT. So I don't know if that's kind of like a, a a way of them just trying to keep it alive, but like minimizing the amount of effort. Kind of deal. I mean, I, that's one angle to look at it, but we don't know what their business model is or what that perspective is. Maybe it just made more sense. They're at the end of their second season of the tournament that's you know being sponsored by WB and all that stuff. Maybe they're just at that point that they're out of their budget, out of their funding. So it just made sense to kind of combine the two. 
Plus, yeah. look at everyone's talking about how stacked the pools are at SCR, right? And that's because there's like 80 signups or something. Yeah. Don't quote me on that. It was low, though. And so there's only four pools. You get out of your pools and you're in top eight. That's how little signups there were. Damn, man. That's nuts. Wow. <laughs> Killer. Place. So, but it's like a game. It's like watching Survivor. This is like a reality TV show from like a spectator's perspective. Think of how many people were participating in season one that aren't around for season two at and or were at the beginning of season two and aren't around now. How many people have uh, given up? Either they can't catch up in the points. It's mathematically not possible. Or they've just stopped playing the game. They're burned out. Like, whatever it may be. But there's a lot of people. It's always possible with LCQ, man. You sound way better, Mason. There you go. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah, LCQ. So, so what's the rules for LCQ? You can't be in, like, what, the top 10 for points or something like that? The top 10? You can't, you can't already be guaranteed a spot, right? Yeah, I think that's the only rule. Right. So they guarantee they guarantee all the spots after SCR because that's the last event. There right? are two. There are two spots from last chance qualifiers, isn't there? A winner and a loser, or no? It's just no. I think I think, I think last time one. there was just the one Canada Cup's involved, right? So Honey Bee won Canada Cup, yeah, not so Canada he, Cup. Sorry, Northern Arena. Northern Arena. He, did, he destroyed uh, Northern Arena. <laughs> right. So he won Northern Arena, which means that if he makes the top twelve in the IPS finals, his Northern Arena spot goes to whoever was in thirteenth place. Thirteenth place overall, I believe, is what he just said. I don't think he's confirmed that, but that's what he's been told. That's uh, it's what he said on his recent video. So yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. So the spot's not like lost. It's not like you get twice. I was going to say, yeah, that's kind of like a waste if he gets it. And then... <clears throat> right, so they've taken that into account. Well, that's good, I guess. So it's exciting. I'm not playing, but I'm still watching. It's still cool. It's like I, it's like rooting for your football team or something, right? You like the players that you like, and you like to follow them, and you still wish them success, and... I hope Big D makes yeah. it in, man. Yeah, Big D was hype at Evo. Oh my god, that yeah, was... Man. He was definitely... So I talked Everyone to him a little bit. Everyone their asses off. At the very <laughs> beginning, he won his very first match, and I was just kind of just bullshitting. I recognized him. He didn't know me or whatever. We were just kind of like talking. And he's like, well, you got to fight a pretty good Swamp Thing, and if I win that matchup, then i got to fight Honeybee. But he was just like so just, I'm lucky I won a game in pools, right? He had no expectations whatsoever, and that's what made the whole ride so great, is that he just would not lose. He could not stop winning. And it was with Poison Ivy. It was just cool to watch, because you never see her. Not at that level. Not in that sort of, like, arena and stuff. I mean, his spacing was um, insane, man. His spacing was so good. How did Mr. J do at Evo? I didn't see how he did. He did okay. I don't. I don't know. Sidelock talked to him a bunch. All those. Uh, I wish I could have went, man. MCG guys. MCG, What's MGC. That? MCG. 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 Or MGC. MGC. No, I think Mystery it's MCG. Clan Gaming or Arlen or whatever. Oh. Both? Isn't that Revolution? Yeah, they're the same. No. Same. Okay. Yeah, so I didn't see Bot there, but I saw Tigers, and I think Matrix was there, Jay was yeah, there, Matrix was. and I think there was one other guy hanging out with them wearing one of their t-shirts. I don't um, remember. Tigers? Titanium Tigers? Yeah, I already said it. Is him. he MCG? Oh, my bad. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. No, hey, that's Pay attention. Uh, do you think that they'll announce anything at the Injustice 2 Finals, IPS Finals? Oh yeah, probably. Probably. Like a They're probably gonna announce a new uh, new mobile new mobile game new coming mobile out or something. <laughs> I'm right, exactly. <laughs> like I'm not joking, though. Okay. No, that's probably what not they're that you miss a beat because that's all their Twitter feed is. That's they're all the be stuff like, they talk about. Get this new gear for Cyborg by connecting with mobile again. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta be making money off that man because like the MKX mobile game is still yeah. getting updates. Like yep. to this really? day, yeah. mobile man. That's a huge thing right now. That's so dumb. So, but we know it's a different division That's of so NRS. Dumb. It's different <laughs> developers and games. stuff like that. Yeah. Who the hell plays mobile games? Like, who has time for that? People do it passively, man. People are always on their fucking phones when they get tired of looking at the same social media posts for the fourth time in a row in the last seven minutes. <laughs> put down their phone. They need something else to do. Dude, when I'm bored at home, seriously, <laughs> yeah, so open Facebook, scroll through Twitter Facebook like four times, scroll through uh, Twitter, close Twitter, open Facebook up again, three of the two new posts on Facebook, go yeah. back, read ten new tweets, close it. Yeah, back. I'm like. <laughs> What it's like, why does Hater doing? always know what's going on with Soul Calibur? Why does he always see this shit right when it comes out? It's because I'm never not looking at it, because I have no fucking life. I just stare <laughs> at that shit all day. And I'm not playing it justice, so I need something to invest my interest into, right? I need to learn about something, and it's not grinding that anymore, so I've got to focus that energy in a different direction. 
Are you getting Soul Calibur, Mason? I'm not sure I've heard you talk about it. Nope. Yes, yeah. he is. <laughs> you fucking I already liar. demanded as much. I even chose his character for him, so he'll be playing. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> I say, I say <laughs> Mason, you're buying Soul Calibur 6, and you're going to play Killick. And he's like, does he no, have I already a told kick? you guys. He says, does he have a dive kick? Uh, <laughs> I, did, uh, I did ask that. Kind of. That's fucking well, funny. So why the fuck else would you recommend him for me? <laughs> that's what you guys do. You just see dive kick and recommend. No, him. Yeah. I don't think there's any dive. Kick. Actually, Cervantes yeah. looks like he might have not a dive see... kick, but definitely some air stuff. I was gonna say I can see you playing mm. the butt pirate. Yeah. Air, stuff. Uh, air stuff. I might be playing that. Yeah. <laughs> Yoshimitsu. But, uh, honestly, you guys, uh, me and Noodles, we're playing Smash Ultimate. Smash not Soul Calibur. Ultimate. The bone hawks are to be fragmented. Oh no! Oh, whatever, bro. I'll bring the up smash the Smash community. Jeez. I'll free some some little kids up in Smash. <laughs> Dude, that community. Mason doesn't care about making top eight as long as he makes a thirteen-year-old cry in the process. That's right. <laughs> That's right. It's reward enough for him. No Evo medal, but he's yeah, got. They're gonna be like years. Bowser. Are you trolling? I'm gonna be like, hell yeah! I'll just fuck up their bayonetta or some shit with them. <laughs> oh my god. Well, time to throw that so deodorant. I'm gonna, I am gonna main Bowser though. I'm gonna try to be the one of the best Bowsers. Dude, like I've, I've played Smash my whole life. I think I'm pretty good. Really? I need to get a game controller and an adapter and shit, but oh. or a new one. That's Fuck. interesting. Has that come out already or not yet? What Smash ultimate? Ultimate. No. ultimate? Plus, I want to see Sonic Fox beat Zero. That would be hype. Sonic I Fox signed up think, for uh, SoCal think, over at SCR. I Where think that. Up? I'm pretty rocks. sure that Sonic will beat Zero. Given enough time, for sure he could. He can Sonic can be the anybody. Yeah. Look how look That's at what him I'm yeah. Dragon Ball That's Fighters. That's what I'm saying. That's Ultimate's gonna be a new game. It's gonna be like a new meta. So Zero's gonna have to relearn a little bit. Not as much as fucking Sonic is, but <laughs> yeah, Sonic's Zero, played, uh... Zero's kind of a god at that game though. <laughs> so it's like we'll see. Sonic played Tira in Soul Calibur Five. He was really good with her. It'll be interesting to see what he does in Six. I'm excited for her. This conversation got off topic. What were we? Uh, IPS finals. Finals. Announcement. IPS finals. Are you going to talk? Are you going to make an announcement? And if so, what do you think it is? See, they haven't. So we got off topic because we need something else to think about. Because we have no faith that there will be. Because we're all still crushed <laughs> from E3. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> My heart. <laughs> Why do you do this to me, Ed Boone? Seriously. I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a patch announcement. I don't think there's any more. Yeah. DLC. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd love a patch. I think that'd be neat. Do you know how they introduced like the pit and the final balance patch, right? Should like, they donate like some money to War of the, War of the Gods? Give again. us some new stages to play <laughs> on. Yeah. If the patch is more than like bug fixes, then I'll probably you know go back and at least try it and stuff. I, I kind much, of miss uh, it. I wonder how much money they made off Source Crystals. In that game. <laughs> probably not that much because I have like a lot that I just got randomly. Yeah, I don't think I think it a lot of people had that bug happen. Like me and me and Rex both ended up with like thousands, oh. thousands. thousands. I don't know how. I didn't get that glitch, unfortunately. That's too bad. I didn't. But I mean, that that glitch is on my alt account. Rex, oh, Rex okay. finds all the glitch. <laughs> totally. <laughs> <laughs> Damn man. Um, don't ban me and RS. Like in MKX, they had um, those two premiere skins, like the Blue Steel Sub Zero and the Crimson. Oh Armada yeah. Driver. Mm-hmm. And uh, they were planning on maybe making like fifty to a hundred thousand dollars off of that, and they made almost a million dollars off of just those two skins alone. Dude, wow. that's the best Sub Zero skin insane. for sure. Insane, like it's insane amount of money, and that's why they were able. That alone funded like the, all three seasons of the ESL. Mortal well, Kombat is, is like ESL, high. and Sonic won all that money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like four hundred thousand of it. <laughs> you have the generation where like MKX was like their first fighting game, right? Like, it, and they discovered Mortal Kombat like later in life and stuff like that. But there's like so many old schoolers around. They have like thirty years, twenty five years of like nostalgia that cater that sort of thing. Talk about casual fan fan base and the kind of money you can make off of that with things just like that, like just some cosmetics or. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, that was used to fund tournament. It was, winning. yeah. It went to the tournament pop bonuses and yeah, that kind of stuff. That was like its sole purpose for that fund. So it's cool. Mortal Kombat has so much history, and Justice does not have that same history. No, it's. I mean, the characters do, but the game franchise does not. Yeah, yeah. and that's kind of like what they're trying to do now. I think with Injustice is try and make it its own. Like, I really, I didn't think that 
I thought Injust the name Injustice Two was kind of stupid. Like I thought they could have come up with like a different name for a DC fighting game, like Injustice Gods Among Us, and then Injustice Two. Every yeah, like it needed like a subtitle the way Injustice Gods Among Us, right? It needed to be a Justice less subtitle, badass. something cool, something yeah, something it flashy. Is less and then I don't like how like the lighting too switched so much because the lighting in the first game is kind of. You know, I like that dark feel that it had. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's See, a lot of people like on. bright stages. I hear people complain about the dark stuff a lot, but I prefer the dark I stuff. I guess. It's just, well. had, it's just, I guess, you know, it's kind of moving away from MKX a little bit about, you know, because MKX was dark. If, if Mortal Kombat's dark, then Injustice shouldn't be. I get that. It should be different. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean, the game, the story behind the whole game is like the dark Superman, like the Superman that loses a shit, finally pushed over the true. edge. It's supposed but to have that. If dark you're wondering window. why Injustice Two got more colorful, that's probably uh, why. Probably, yes. Yeah. I'm sure they got a lot of feedback, and it's just, I think, easier on your eyes and stuff like that too. Whatever they do, games for hours at a time. Back. The new health bars are ugly. Yeah. <laughs> for what? The health bars. When and what? They've always what bugged me. In Injustice. <laughs> That gray. Oh, you want like round? Gray, red, gray to yellow. I like the old, like the red. That was cool. I like the oh, salmon yeah. skin. That's what you said. Yeah, but whatever. Whatever. It is what <laughs> it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. So if they it do, doesn't matter when their opponents are zero. So if they do, and let's say that they, okay, so let's let's go to the next topic. So Mortal Kombat 11. What do we want, like gameplay wise, from NetherRealm for that game? Like, what did they do wrong in Injustice 2? Or an MKX that you want to see them rectify in MK11. I want to see some more mechanics that uh, that capitalize on like fundamentals and stuff like that. Like you see, I think one thing that's lacking from any N NRS game that I've seen, I first saw in Killer Instinct when I picked that up right after I dropped Injustice. I've, it's in Soul Calibur Tech and all of that is the uh, counter hit mechanic. If you punish somebody, like not punish somebody in recovery, but you counter hit them, so you hit them out of their startup frames, you should have a greater advantage than just the hit advantage you would have if you just hit them at neutral. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. So yeah. in other games, you get like too. more hit advantage, or it turns into a combo that you can convert, or it has some sort of other, uh, some sort of other trait or something that's beneficial to you because you had the better read, or you baited and punished the whiff for i guess the whiff would be a a punish on recovery but you know what i mean you hit yeah. so many other startup frames as a counter hit you should have some sort of advantage i kind of i don't i don't mind the way that injustice does it. i like the the really tight uh frame i think it like makes the skill cap like much higher you know if they gave you like hella time to just punish no or i'm saying you already get it right like, so you already get the notification right it's like, either counter yeah, or you're getting punish. hit advantage some people don't know how to use their hit advantage i'm saying that that hit advantage is the same <laughs> no matter what and other games also have hit advantage but if you get it specifically for like a counter hit you have even a greater advantage something that you normally say like if so injustice like characters that can't convert off a down to one right it doesn't connect to anything if it's a counter hit you win that poke war or you know you were more patient and you got them on a counter hit then you should be able to convert off of it or something like that. I think it's missing some oh, sort of see, counter so hit like, advantage. How like Darkseid couldn't do like down one background bounce before the patch, and then they gave him more hit advantage, so now he can, whereas it would stay the same before, but if he hit it on a counter, then he'd be able to link it. Is that kind of what you're saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. something like that. Or say like Brainiac got a dive kick, right? And he caught you trying to do something, and so it was actual counter hit. He should be able to, like he could convert off of it without spending meter. Obviously that wouldn't fit the balance of the game, but that's the idea. I already right? oh, Okay, I see. I, Sorry, I know what. I'm, God damn it! <laughs> Just saying, especially well, unless you want us, unless you want me to say like X. If X equals Y, I'm just like, <laughs> no world, world example. I'm I'm just, hey, whoa! Oh. Excuse me, <laughs> <in the background>. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, Brady, I can do what? <laughs> <laughs> God, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just messing with you because, because I can already combo off it without. without meter <laughs> i'm about to say like okay so let's just say uh you can get a back three instead and you're about to tell me you can get a back three off of it so i'm not you gonna can. say that <laughs> i know i know i knew it was going there god damn it i'm just fucking with you, you <laughs> i know you know what i mean though. Uh, anyway i uh i'm interested in somebody else's opinion about that yeah that's in, that's in, i've never actually like 
really played a game where I don't think where that's a thing. I don't remember that being in Soul Calibur Five. I'm in. I'm definitely in support of it. I know they have it in Street Fighter, and I play Street Fighter a bit, and it's a very. It makes things more interesting, like because you can't just like. All right, I'm sorry. I'm trying to think think it before I say it. I should have thought this through, but um, <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, but like, you can um, you can get full combo punishes where you normally wouldn't be, or at least deep, like way better punishes for getting the counter hit. It's not. It just, sounds like oh, it, right, really you know, it would stop better. people from mashing on your plus frame. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And it exactly. like it forces better enforces better gameplay. It's rewarding to the person that was. More patience or knew when it was their turn, right? And you're getting more punished for trying to take your turn when it wasn't but yours. But that changes the pace of the game so much. Uh, like, it does. I'm just saying it wouldn't fit the balance of this game. But whatever next game, if they could implement true, something true. like that yeah, and yeah. kind of balance the game, like include that within the balance, it would break the fuck out of Injustice. I guess I, I want it to be more like Injustice, I think, where it's like... Just bland. You know, I feel control. like they could do could more with it. it. Well, it'll be probably faster. You wouldn't have back threes, obviously, because that's just injustice. Like if they had something like that to MK, I'm gonna be salty because that's like all the combos just bore me. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're so lame. I yeah. mean, in my mind, like, what's the difference between a back three in injustice and a neutral jump two in Mortal Kombat? Yeah, like, that's a good point. There's a ton of characters that can't connect their neutral jumps. There's way more it's variety just, in the combos. Just, Have you ever see like yeah. Dragon Naginata or something? Like sure. there's some crazy ass sure. combos in that game. So that's a very good character. <laughs> Insane. Right. How many how many times can you do meter burn back three, jump three, one, two, back forward, you know, whatever. Yeah, like, whatever. Okay. <laughs> yeah, shit gets old. It does. I do like the idea of everybody having an armored launcher, though. I think that's... Yeah, that's cool. That, like, that's what yeah. I'm... Like, yeah, you, that's it. It. you either give it to everybody or you give it to nobody. I like. That. I wish nobody had it. Armored launchers, I think, break shit. And there's a reason they patched that shit out of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> like, uh, well, I, I just feel like meter burn back three or meter burn four meter. three is just such an eye win button. Game. I know. I know it is. Again, just like zoning, right? Mm-hmm. I, I don't disagree that it has a place in the game but it's just one of the reasons that it just i feel like it's not for me See, I just i don't enjoy it i'd agree with you but you could hold your forward threes i know so there's like a whole new like thing in there that's why it's like that's why i like the armor launch because even bounce cancels are not like plus on block enough to where you can't counter with your own forward three all forward threes are like at least 25 frame startup or whatever. I mean, know? there's just so many situations <laughs> yeah. where you, you go to take a turn and people just armor out of it. But no, yeah. not that many people do. And as long as you use your armor after and you hold it longer than them, you'll always yeah, win. Unless they right, back but you have to read their forward three or their back three meter burn, right? Like, or react. It's, it's or fun. react to it. I'm talking about like when people are like doing it through gaps and stuff like that. Or I guess that's the yeah. price. That's the risk, right, with using mm-hmm. something with the goods. Yeah. Shit, just again, it makes sense in the world that they've created, but it's just one of those things that, ugh, man. Yeah, yeah. Irks, yeah. yeah man. I'm I wondering, should... I'm wondering if they, because there were so much complaints about zoning and justice too. I wonder if they're gonna scale that back for, for MK11. Uh, I hope not. I really hope they don't. But yeah. Do you want to have, have more zoning than MKX? In MK? <laughs> I yes. think I think that they need to have more balance to the zoning characters, like because Starfire and Doctor Fate are still like quite good up close, like they're not as good as some of the rushdown characters, but I mean you can still they can more than hold their own against most of the cast. Like I think they should be at a severe disadvantage when you're up close, but have a really strong zoning game. I think they that should have shitty wake ups. Not the best wake up in the entire game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like totally. like Quan Chi, right? Really oppressive or whatever. But yeah, hell yeah. Quan Chi was knocked him down. I never complained Jesus. about Quan, man. The only yeah. thing I complained about Quan was the sorcerer with that double that armor bullshit. Because oh, yeah, that was kind of cheese. Like <laughs> it was a little bit cheese. But Just armor wherever. Even summoner Quan, like when I would block that, you get a full punish chance. Like you know, people didn't use the safe setups when it was busted. <laughs> they didn't true. start doing the safe setups until after. Yeah. They didn't need to. They had some crazy mix, but it was satisfying because if you blocked it, you could full combo punish. Right, you <laughs> knock him down, and he can't get up. Oh, yeah, and then he can't do shit. Yeah. Exactly, just, so that's how he's just balanced, on his right? Yeah. That's what like, you just have to survive long enough to gain the advantage, and then as soon as you have that, you just have to capitalize on it. Yeah, exactly. Hope, and he doesn't have I hope that to brutalities are still in the game. That was my favorite thing about MKX. I thought that was really fun. Yeah, that was my favorite thing about MKX was doing brutalities to everyone. I would rather have no. Well, fatalities are like a trademark, right? But I prefer brutalities because they're faster. 
There's like more variety to them. You don't have to mm-hmm. sit there for 30 seconds and watch it. Like people don't even use them. Bah, bah, bah. Like they just want to move on to the next match, right? But people are ending brutalities all the time because it's like the same time frame. I think it's a beautiful idea, and yeah, it should be it's... implemented way stronger. Yeah, I think that's I think that's true. I I I wonder what they're gonna do because they for Mortal Kombat Nine they had babalities, and then for this game they had brutalities. So I wonder if they're going to bring back another different ality for the next game, like an animality maybe? or Like a brand new one or bring back an old favorite, like a friendship? Yeah, I would love to see friendships, man. Friendships would some, be badass. They could do some fun stuff with that nowadays. Or they could just come yeah. before. I think Fatalities are fun. They'll always be fun. Bring back Baraka. <laughs> yeah, yes. Dude, Baraka. Please. Please. Her Baraka. So, all right. So, is there any characters you guys want to see come back? Hell yeah. yeah. Who you guys want? Who wants to go first? Who wants to go last? Who wants to go? I'll now? go last. I talk too much. <laughs> talk too much. I want Kung Jin. Of course. <laughs> I think that's probably a safe bet. I think he'll probably be in the game. <laughs> Good. Then I'm all right. <laughs> More Takeda, less Cassie. Fuck no. Damn, Cassie's man. way cooler. Than Cassie is. A Sorry, noodles. <laughs> I mean, Cassie's funny, but like, I just like to hate him more. That's just me. He's got. He does have those cool ass whips. Yeah, he does. I, yeah. I like, like his design a lot. I hate his personality. Yeah, he's like one say. of those guys, like Robin. He looks cool and stuff like that. But dude, shut up! Every time you open your mouth, it's just cringe. Yeah, Ooh. I love the characters like that. <laughs> oh man, Robin's hilarious. <clears throat> I don't know, man. I'm. Definitely could do without. I think Mr. Moss. Um, who do you want in Mortal Kombat? Or Dink? Who do you want in Mortal Kombat? Well, let's let's ask Mr. Moss first. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> who do I want in Mortal Kombat? I want to see Baraka come back somehow. Actually, if they can make it work well with the story, not like something really stupid. No one ever really dies in Mortal Kombat, anyways. Yeah, Shang yeah. Tsung's flesh pits again. Yeah, like, yeah exactly. Oh, right. Just, like, Why is that place maybe not a, burned to the ground yet? <laughs> there may be a new Tarkan who's actually better than Baraka somehow. I don't know. That'd be interesting. Well, there's a ton. He's just, he's, yeah, he's just the he's just the smartest. That's why he was always like the best. He was the only one that was like could think. Yeah. And now uh, if they made another smart one, that'd be cool. Yeah. I just hope it's not like a female because that'd just be strange. Well, that'd be uh, yeah. Mace, Mace is about to get blown up in the comments. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, uh, you want to see a female Tark Cotton? Like, I, yeah, fuck Melina. <laughs> that bitch is dead. If they bring her back in that form, I'm just still going to be salty. <laughs> goddamn clone. I agree. She can keep her back. She, her redesign was way better than previous ones, though. They gave oh, her yeah. lips, she, and she, that yeah, just... she looked way cooler. She looked way cooler just because of that. MK9, she looked silly as and shit. Her Every play style was, like, her moves and animations were really... Like, I, I did always like watching her combos and stuff. The sound effects... Stab, 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 stab. Yeah. I always remember that. Stab, 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 Shank stab, to death. Stab. That's my, actually, that's my, um, that's my theory on yeah. Mortal Kombat 11, that uh, Quan Chi was working with Shang Tsung to actually get well, Shinnok killed. And uh, oh. Shang Tsung was actually Quan Chi in that moment where Quan Chi died. And so Quan Chi revived Shang Tsung for... Oh, for resurrects Deadly, him. Yeah, for the Deadly Alliance, because they knew that... Uh, They'd be able to take out Shinnok, and maybe for some reason they could, they didn't want to, or didn't have to, or something. That's smart. So, that's that's good, clever. Good, good, good conspiracy. So tell me how. Do you like tell that? me how Sindel's gonna fit in this because she's my number one vote to come back. Oh, Sindel. Sindel, that would probably revo- revo- yeah, involve dead. a revival around Shao Kahn. Something. I hope Noob Saibot's got a big part because he's a fan yes. favorite. Yeah, I, I want yeah, him and him and Sub Zero have gotta have some story right i think yeah. they didn't include him in reunited Kombat. yeah but they talked about him so much <laughs> yeah, they, yeah they did that's true i think they didn't even realize how popular he was until the outcry when he wasn't included no yeah. they knew <laughs> they could, you, know, like, <laughs> they you think they're just fucking with people people have been begging for him forever man noob there was a couple wasn't even that good he's pretty awesome i like him. he's cool he's the all black man I like all the goth I, kids love him i like to uh edgy to, to bring back Noob Smoke. I thought that was cool from Deception. That was cool. I, don't I don't like the double character thing. No? You don't like it? No. Nope. Like the tag? Like yeah, it. I'm not. Nope. I don't like it. I know that's kind of becoming a thing, like in the anime I game. I know. Stuff. I don't like it. And I know people Single are kind of speculating maybe that's why. Like, maybe they changed the game plans. Once all these other games came out, they realized what are really catering to people and even taking away from their player base, at least the crossover games, uh, they might be reassessing some things, right? It's true. 
it's true. You never know. Who knows? I uh, obviously Quan Chi. I want to see come back. Lee May. I want to see come back. She was, had a small part in the story. I don't think it's totally out of left field that she could come back in the next one. But she's banging noob Saibot. Dude, I'd pay so much to watch that. <laughs> she is. Is she, is she not? Is, do they not comment? She's one of the people that talk about them in the in the campaign, right? No, I don't think she does. I don't think she who's the Who's she talks the girl about that? She talks about no, yeah, it was that There's scene in the camp or whatever, and she explicitly said, "I fucked Noob Cybot." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> how did you miss yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, no, I think I'm thinking of a different character. Than uh, that. I, I I'm thinking care. of that, uh, that the girl with girl. What's her name? Uh, Quan, I'm Quan Chi's name. apprentice who oh, uh, betrayed. <laughs> Her, oh, Serena is who I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't she the vampire? I was like eight years old when yeah. that game came no, out. That's, um... No, that's that's Natara you're thinking of. That was a wasted character. She was so cool, and they went nowhere with her story. I would love to see her like with the tech that we have today, and to like see that on PS4 or next gen console or whatever, a design like that, like a winged vampire demon thing. I think they could do so good with oh, like absolutely. a balanced version of Hot Girl. I would be <laughs> super stoked to see yeah, that. That's funny. Yeah. That How about who could we could live without? Who could we live without in the next MKX that was Molina. or in the next MK that was in MKX? Who would we don't want to return? Jackie Briggs. I hate What? Yeah. I want to see her. No. Yep, I agree. Nope. I, so I want to see her. Okay, I guess, but yeah. I want Jackie in there and I want her to be cooler. Reptile doesn't really do anything. Cuz Jax is dead. You know Jax is going to be dead. I think all the oldies should retire, so all you cage players can blow me up too. But I think yeah. they're. Jax died in like three different story endings. That's usually a pretty good sign. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, I think I could do without Ferator. They really seriously yeah. did nothing in the story. That's they were just a big scary that. guy to fight. Character. It was like the, I would love like to a, see a something Farah like how. Devorah. Devorah, could Devorah I would love to see come back. She's no. a, she's a man. cool character, man, and they did a good job. <sighs> I don't like that. her. She's so creepy. <laughs> Her race just kind of throws me off. Like, they're like walking hives. Like, what? That just seems like so like out of place. I don't know. It's Alan, man. It's MK, whatever. whatever crazy yeah. <laughs> Reptiles strange to me, but she's like literally a walking hive. I'm like, why is yeah. she? Why does she look like a human female? It's a cool design. I would love to have been at that hive. table when people were like pitching that idea, right? You know, they already drew out little sketches and stuff before they kind of like talked about it i would those early conversations like what insect woman and where do they come up with her name from i think they just make that shit up they put in a random name generator and find know. something that sounds <laughs> close and then modify it from there she was just vora till i gave her the d oh. <laughs> Gross. Does D stand for dink? Uh, yeah, you can. Hey, man, that, that's that's all you, buddy. You can. <laughs> so, she's the sexiest Shit. bug lady you'll ever see. I swear to God. She's got lots of orifices too. It looks like. That's true. She oh, could be no. fun. Oh, God, oh my God. <laughs> Just open up your right fucking stomach, like. I called Melina before I called her. Oh man, who knows what's down there? With <laughs> no, I don't care. Who cares? That's a that's a risk I'd be willing to take. <laughs> Does it poop? And then there's barrier that, for uh, Oh man. Alright. So let's talk about the elephant in the room when it comes to characters, guest characters, because you know they're gonna be in the game. Who do you yep. think who do you think would fit? Who do you want? Who do you don't want? Uh spawn. You don't want spawn. Everyone's No, I do want spawn, sorry. Oh, okay. oh, I do want spawn. Okay. okay. Sorry. Yeah. I think spawn would fit. I think he's badass, he would fit into the whole idea, the whole aesthetic, the whole feel, like the way that some... Who's a good example of that DLC and Injustice you can think of that really fits the game? There's obviously some that don't really, but... Uh, like Red Hood or something like that, right? Yeah, okay. Red Hood yeah. fits. That makes sense. He has his place in the whole lore, and he plays like he plays in this game. He wasn't, like, inserted into it. I'd like to see Kratos again. Kratos could be cool, but they would be the a PlayStation Kratos. exclusive. I don't think we'll they'll do, do console exclusive. Why does it got to... Man, he could. They could bring him in. I'm sure they would bring him in. Even put him on Xbox. Yeah, I don't. I think you give Sony too much faith. I think you do too. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think it, I think Spawn is the one that everyone's kind of expecting. But they've been calling that for like the last three games, and they haven't done it. So, plus he was I a guest character in Soul Calibur too, wasn't he? Spawn. Yeah, but that was like 20 years ago or something, right? Yeah, fair enough. He didn't even have a cape. He had an axe that he doesn't even have in the comics. That's weird. Why would they do they that? They had to give him a weapon, right? 
They weren't about to give him his guns. Yeah, fair they enough. They could have done something with his chains. His, well, his cape. Yeah, has sure. guns. What the fuck? Uh, I'm sure they had problems with the cape rendering with the technology back then and stuff to yeah. like implement that. Because like in the comics, that's kind of like his weapons, right? His cape, his chains, his guns. Makes sense. Yeah. I don't, I've never read a Spawn comic, so I don't really know. He sounds Spawn's like a badass. badass. No, I watched Spawn's the badass. animated series. I don't, I don't know shit about or whatever Spawn. it was. <laughs> so the idea behind Spawn is the idea behind Superman. And Todd McFarlane's kind of problem with the whole Superman, how he's just the best at everything. His only weakness is kryptonite, right? And his humanity, his morals or whatever. Spawn's super overpowered. He can be, do all that shit too and more, but it's his resource is finite. Like, yeah. And if he expends all of that, then... He sees us to exist, and that's why he uses guns and stuff, too. He can't just oh, use his shit all the time. So he uses it when he has to, but not on a consistent right. basis. That's a neat thing. And he's, like, super de demonic. Like, there's the whole hell and Satan and all that sort of stuff, too. It's just dark. People are in, like, dark comics, dark, brutal. Like, it was one of the... This is, like, the 90s. All that stuff was kind of, like, a novelty, I feel like. It wasn't really accessible. It started to make a little, main, uh, a little bit mainstream. He had his movie. He had his animated series on HBO. Had to be on HBO because they wanted to stay true to the comics, and so it was vulgar and violence and all of that stuff. He's he'd fit Mortal Kombat beautifully. Was it good? Uh, the animated stuff I liked a lot. The movie was trash, but they are. Oh yeah, the movie. They're was making so a new bad. one. <laughs> they're making a new one. I'm super excited. It's going to be a horror movie. Oh really? Yeah. Cool. That'll be cool. I didn't. I didn't realize. Yeah, that. Spawn's cool. I would love to see Spawn. You think they put a uh, Michael Myers in there? That would. That so here's the thing. He's a little slow and methodic, don't you think? That whole stalker thing? Like, the kind of the way that they have him in Dead by Daylight, if you've ever played that game. I have yet to play that. Uh, just doesn't yeah, he just walks out. there. He's like, just, I'm not going to die right now. I'll just take these bullets. But isn't he just? But like you can dude? say the same thing about Jason. And Jason yeah. had enough movement. Like, and it didn't look silly either, seeing him, who we usually see as, like, slow, methodical, brooding, stalkerish sort of thing. But doesn't Jason have some sort of supernatural power, whereas Michael Myers is just, like, an insane guy? He's an insane guy, but he's got this crazy resilience. The kind of guy that yeah. you can just, he just, uh, I like, don't know. I don't. Between Halloween 1 and 2, like at the end of Halloween 1, he had been, I don't remember, but I remember he gotten shot uh, six or seven times. Jesus. And then at the end of the movie, he gets up and walks away. And keeps on yeah. killing into the second so who movie. Knows? Like, <laughs> right. I don't think they've even tried to like rationalize that or anything. In the first Rob Zombie movie, the one that didn't suck. The Michael Myers story in that was cool. I'd recommend that to anybody. Like, I've the last that half one. of that, that movie, movie, like, grown-up Michael Myers and his sort of resilience, the kind of beatings he can take and gunshots and all of that stuff, he's just, ugh, it's creepy. Okay, it's so like a very just, like a beast, oh, like an animal, no, right? No, here's another thought that, I've, that I have, I've had for a long time, and I totally forgot about it until just now. What if Mortal Kombat 11 is not coming? And instead, they're making a horror movie fighting game. Yeah, I'd rather have the characters, characters that I want, but they could surprise me. I kind of have trust. I have faith in them that the, whatever they'll do will be good, right? Yeah. As long as it's not a 3D fighter, I think I'll be all right. Like if yeah, if it's just like some completely new series where it's like because they have the rights to how many different horror characters now? A, like, a, a bunch, right? It'd be an interesting game, and then you put Alien like, and Predator in there. I'd be more interested to see how it plays because they want to keep all their IPs different. That's why I'd like Injustice... to see a non Baraka Xenomorph play out. That'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, that's kind of like a crutch. Look at the difference between Injustice and Mortal Kombat as far as the mechanics and stuff like that. What they would do to a third IP, I'd be interested to see what that game plays like. Like what? We have a block button in one. We've got a back to block, a traditional back to block in this one. Like, what would they choose mechanics wise? Right. No blocking. No, no block at all. <laughs> not, not just the blocking, but yeah, that, I mean that would be stupid as shit. But I imagine if not the, do... that's not the burning question. That's not the question I'm hung up on. That was just an example, right? Like, well, but how? Yeah. I mean, if they, I don't know, if they could make it. I'm sure it would have to be like more rushdown oriented, right? Because like all those horror movie characters. Well, I guess Freddy maybe like he could be his owner or something. But I feel like since that would be really geared more towards casual players. That they, right. it'd be in their best interest to have it be more of a rushdown game, right? I was once told by somebody that the reason MKX was so rushed down and run button and all that stuff was the catering to like the wider audience, right? It's like a party game. You just have your friends over, you've got a group of friends, you're passing the controller around, you can just pick it up and you hit buttons and yeah. that's why fifty fifties and stuff, right? You just you open people up without even knowing what you're doing. Yeah. And then but fatalities. The people that want to yeah. take it seriously, yeah. it's balanced quite the opposite and stuff, right? Like 
you got players that really want to take it seriously and have really good fundamentals, but their fundamentals won't be rewarded because a coin flip is still a coin flip. A 50 50 is still a 50 50. Right. Right? Doesn't matter whether you know what you're doing or not. That's why I really. I think that was a lot of the frustration. Need- I really liked oh, the I mean, gear system in Injustice 2. I thought that was really smart, where you could have a casual player that could just make this really yeah. overpowered character and just play it with whoever they wanted to. Or even just the aesthetics. Just being able to make yours look different from everybody else's and not be confined to just a, a costume. Do you think right? that'll be just an Injustice thing? Or do you think they'll move that no. gear system over to There's, there? I think we'll have a better version of it. Injustice was them working out the kinks. The first time that they tried it, and I think they learned a lot from it. Right. Uh, inventory management, just inventory period probably too many gear pieces, not enough variety between them. I think they'll be like outfits in Mortal Kombat, but you'll like be able to, the, how I would envision it was like, you can change the head, like the chest, and then like the legs or something like that, right? right. And everything kind of like works together. You choose a color, color pattern, um, and that's how you make your character unique. I didn't really get why you could have two gear pieces that had a different name, but they looked exactly the same. Like, yeah, dumb. I really understood that. That was kind of stupid. Mind you, I do have a gear piece for Raiden that says something about Quan Chi on it. So I was like, well, that's cool. <laughs> I'll keep that. I don't know if that's All's forgiven. All's forgiven. Just, I'd swear my supreme generic armor nowadays. Supreme generic armor. It's literally what it's called. It's called the supreme <laughs> generic really? armor. Yeah. Is that your then, weird little yoga suit? <clears throat> yeah. The, that skin tight oh, thing that's yep. super creepy. Everyone yeah, loves it. That is I love that loadout. That's my favorite loadout. Is it really? <laughs> Show yeah, you got to be slim and agile when you're flying in the sky like I am. Yeah, when you got metal dicks coming out your back. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> metal dicks. What? <laughs> that killed me for some reason. Um, <laughs> oh, you haven't been in Discord with Shiro at the same time as all of us then, oh, because God. Batman. I don't know how many hentai jokes come out when Brainiac's on the screen. It's funny. He's so funny, man. We like. Every time we play, we're just fucking laughing the whole time. She was, she was great. Freak. Um, I've never played with Shira. You're missing out, man. You're missing He's a cool out. dude. He's, He's been busy. He doesn't play much. Yeah. Well, he plays a lot of other stuff, too, right? And then just other real-life stuff. He doesn't just play in just... I think he plays, like, I don't think and stuff and Dragon Ball. Yeah. Dragon Ball Fighters and all that kind of... Thing. Guilty Gear and stuff like that, I think, that he plays. And things like that. He's going to be playing Soul Calibur. He <laughs> runs the Shangwa Discord. Does he really? Oh. Yeah. Things you don't, the things you find out about your friends. I know. I gotta make a cheated Discord. Is there not already a cheated Discord? No. What I don't is... think there's anything left to talk about, is there? I think that's why most of the Injustice Discords, I'm not <laughs> in any really of them mean? anymore, but even like months ago when I was leaving, there was nothing going on. Because yeah. everyone's kind of already talked about and what they are going to talk about or they're just arguing about it. Got to the point to where talking about matchups isn't even fun anymore. It's just people just want to prove how they're right and you're wrong or whatever. They're not even listening. Oh, that's been the freaking bane of my existence ever since I started playing games. Fucking matchups. People argue, argue matchups yeah. all day. Or tier lists. I and, love talking about it constructively, like learning about it and stuff yeah. like that. And then it gets to the point where it's like politics or religion. It's like scorched earth type stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. you feel like I'm attacking your worldview and <laughs> yeah. you're acting really I've, rationally towards me. Like and I've, I've, got, I've got my own personal tier list and that's it. There are a couple of characters that I don't like to see and other ones I don't care. That's all that matters. <laughs> Brainiac top three. Yeah, I just honestly. My, uh, my own he's only got like two bad matchups, really. Three. Here four, comes, maybe. Mason. Mason's got all the YouTube comments today. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Talk to me about it. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> oh, dear. Tell me your main. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's Mason, true. Yeah. Rise to the occasion. <laughs> Mason's streaming now. We can just run YouTube commenters through the Brainiac gauntlet. Yeah, there you go. And they, you oh, hell no. What, I, what did I do? What did I sign up <laughs> <laughs> I did, that, oh, uh, man. I did that for MK9 at SCR back in 2013. I was sure that uh, Quan Chi beat Kung Lao like 6 4. You, you ran know? the Quan Gauntlet? Yeah. So I did, did you beat like, him all? No, I lost four times and won once. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I look stupid. So you're but, sitting there, you're just like shit. This whole time, like, like, I, I ran, uh, I ran all the Brainiacs through the Noodles Gauntlet, and none of them could take a game. Oh, really? Nice, man. Nope, except for me. I feel I bad. When I see you or Noodles on stream and Noodles is going up against a Brainiac or you're going up against a Robin, I'm just like shaking my head like, uh, this, this poor person has no idea what yeah. they're doing. Yeah, 
That's how it was at my. I was when I was streaming earlier to a bunch of Robin players. Like I had like three Robins like in a row, and I was like, these poor guys. (laughs) They don't even know. I just walk away from them, and they don't know what to do. They're not used to people walking away from them. They're like, oh shit. What do I do now? <laughs> well, what they do is they go to Reddit and complain about how walking away is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. The Robin's the king of walk away, Meadow. What you mean? <laughs> no no not, kidding. Not from Firestorm. I hate that matchup so much. There's no matchup. No one has walk away meta against you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you walk at all, asshole. You <laughs> <laughs> all I do is jump. Yeah, then I have to try and hit Starfish, but your freaking jump one is so stupid. Yeah, try me, bitch. <laughs> I like that matchup. No, no, I don't like that matchup, man. I don't mind it. It's all right. Uh, it sucks sometimes, man. When you start using your jump normals, that's when it gets really hard. That's I don't like Firestorm. Nobody likes Firestorm. At least playing against him. Yeah. I don't mind Firestorm until he hits level 3 trait, and then I just want the character to be deleted because I think he's so stupid. <laughs> I hate any that, that Passively getting health back. Everything's, oh. like, safer. Everything wants like, 30 health back. Clam down, Chowder. You want a match from it before when I magic pixeled you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that. That was hype. <laughs> I, like, I did an EX drill on it. That was like, I think it was that combo breaker, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. Mm-hmm. Damn. Salt. <laughs> Salt, man. Uh, Are you guys traveling to close. any events next year? LCQ. LCQ. What about you, Hater? Are you planning anything? Uh, nothing set in stone. I want to try to make Combo Breaker. I'm jealous that everyone, or a lot of people went and I didn't go. And I think Chicago would have been cooler than Las Vegas. And Hell yeah, Combo been Breaker would have been cooler went. than Evo. Yeah, was, or player I, tried, I tried to make you to go. Capacity or whatever, yeah. Well, it's nice I because think I was like, in your insult mode. Like I know. Evo, you have to walk all the way to the freaking venue. Yeah. And there's not even any setups there. Like, At least Combo Breaker, they have a 24-hour venue and it's like not that bad of a walk from your room. At least they had monitor. At least they had like bring your own console sections. I actually brought Mortal Kombat X. I was like, well, yeah, and you don't have to walk through like two casinos and a fucking strip mall just to get to your venue from your hotel room. Yeah, a casino that's designed to like trap you in there, right? No daylight, no nothing. There's no windows in there. You don't even know what time of the day it is unless you look at your watch. I hate Vegas. Which is the whole point. I don't like Vegas either. Like. Especially 65 where... degrees inside with AC. I had to like wear my hoodie. You go step outside for a cigarette or something. It's 110 degrees. Just punches you in the fucking face. Like it hurts yeah. to breathe. Why do they have to host that shit right in the heat of summer too? Like, like the summer I know August, the middle of the desert in August. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> you guys are making me glad I didn't go. I I hate. You missed like my you Evo rant my before money. we started recording. Oh yeah, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, I like. I know Kelsey like missed his flight. Venom had some shit go down, so like I wish I, I wish I could have been there for you guys, but like at the I mean, same so I had, time, like all weekend we were battle buddies. I played oh, yeah. like a hundred games in one day with Sidelock or some shit like that. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Man, a combo breaker. Kelsey kept like just passing out like wherever. Like yeah, like ten minutes and he'd be like good to go. I was like, what the hell, man? Yeah, yeah, man. They got a uh, when when I was meeting up with them in the parking lot. Sidelock sent me a Snapchat or something of him in the car, and he was slumped in the back seat of the Uber. <laughs> like they'd like been in the Uber for like five minutes or something dude, like that. that he dude. said he was out immediately. Uh, it was like a sleep schedule, and now that he's streaming, he's working that into it and all that sitting, stuff. Uh, sitting in the passenger seat when we go to get food. Slumped, just like yeah. we had just sit down, like sat down in the car, and he was <laughs> just power napping. He was probably he asleep when we left him at the inside the car when we went to get noodles. So he was probably asleep. That's probably why we didn't notice. Him. <laughs> the thing is, he's not even trying to nap. He's not like, oh, I have a few minutes to get a little. Wasn't bit he of supposed shot. to be here? What the hell is he? As soon as he's not active, his body just turns off. We actually right. left him. Uh, we left him in the trunk of the car at one point. By <laughs> that's what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we, I, well, uh, he was so quiet. And we were we were going to get like faux or whatever, and uh, we get like halfway to the freaking restaurant, and Sidelock's like, "Where's Kelsey?" <laughs> How like, come I'm the only black guy here? Yeah, <laughs> I'm the only black guy. That's legit here. What he said, and then we're like, "Oh shit!" We go back, and he's like staring out the window like a freaking dog. Like, please come save me. Six foot one. Yeah, Jack. That's funny. In the back seat of my car. <laughs> Whoops. Man, there's like an emergency handle in there. He just like didn't know where it was or something. I don't know. <laughs> just just opened it by himself. <laughs> oh man. That I was, wish I could have seen that. That sounds hilarious. You were hilarious. driving people around in the trunk of your car? We ran out of seats. I was doing everything, bro. <laughs> I drove everyone to the local. 
Oh, yeah. They packed in and went to the GGA. That was my favorite part about that whole trip, man. It looked cool. I watched all those streams. I was jealous. Dink eliminated me. Oh, yeah, I did. That sucks. Son of a bitch. Sorry, man. The only time I could ever beat you was in the tournament. I know. (laughs) You just kicked my ass at casual. Choke. I choke hella. Laggy ass brainiac. Choke harder than no, honestly, the first I, that day. that tournament was so much fun, bro. Like I just uh, that was right after I beat Trey Pound, like barely. I came back because he did a he did the EX like play doctor or whatever on me, and he thought he would like I don't know what the fuck he thought he was gonna kill me with it or something. I just neutral jumped away and he whiffed, and then I ended oh. up killing him. He like totally had the match. Damn man. And like, and then after I got him, I was just like so happy that I got him. And I was like, fuck, gotta fight Dink. <laughs> well, that blows, and then we were just cracking jokes anyway, and then you beat me. I didn't even know what, I didn't even know what happened. It was like I think you beat me three that. three one or something. I was like, oh shit, that's it. I lost. <laughs> I'm out. I'm gonna cheer for noodles. Yeah, yeah, noodles. Packing really with fun. all the all the European guys, and you had a really noodles. hyped first match on stream. Who did you play on the stream there, Mason? Happy Pow. Right, was it about? Oh, at the GGA thing. Huh? Yeah, I, I was bodying him like absolutely just wrecking him. The first two matches, I went up two all. Barred him twice. Yeah, I like we're in, we're in almost close. double flawless his grod, and then I like destroyed his flash too, and he reverse three would me. Dude, grod scares me. So I, much I started. After yeah, what I wasn't playing that Evo. matchup right. Ah, I was. Oh yeah, there. Mr. Moss was on stream at Evo. He <laughs> 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 yes, yes, had the yes, pleasure. He met Oki's on stream. Green, Green Lantern I'm just versus grod. Traumatized after that. Jesus Dude, I've I've like... lost to so many of my teammates in tournament. Holy shit. We chilled with Oki's a little bit that weekend. He's a really cool guy. So I met short, some really man. cool people that I weekend. I thought he was yeah. way taller than he was. <laughs> so is Tigers. <laughs> yeah, Tigers is squirty. Little <laughs> He's young. All those kids are way young. They're not even grown up yet. I know it's weird. They're, they're older than me, aren't they? They're mm-hmm. kicking my ass. They're same I don't age. Know. Pretty sure they're yeah, they're yeah same probably. age as me. We're old. I mean, look at Jay, Jay. Looks like he belongs in college, yeah. but the other kids, they look way young. Jay's, if they're in college, they're like in the Head Start program. For like Jay, Jay's like 20, 21, I think, he told me. Fucking kids, they got so much time to just play. Tigers is probably, he's probably only like 20s. Bot is definitely his 20s. Definitely his 20s. <clears throat> oh, you young kids and your young kid yeah. reactions. Yeah, because when I, I remember I, after they all lost to Noodles, I told them how old Noodles was, and none of them could believe it. Because they were talking something about like, the older people that play or something. I was like, man, don't, don't I remember, it. yeah. It the man when who I, just bodied you was 30. <laughs> <laughs> when, I first started started, to hang, uh, when I first started hanging out around here, I was surprised to uh, hear how young you were. Because you just talk more like an older person, I think. You're not like an immature young person. Man, I, Me? Yeah. yeah. I pictured uh, I pictured Mason as like this chubby redhead kid when I first talked to him. I don't know why. Wow. <laughs> then then you saw him with those with with those uh, radiant locks. Yeah, because he just had like this chill te- like chill tune to his voice, and I was I just pictured him there with like some Dr Pepper or some shit, just chilling. <laughs> and then he posted a selfie in the Discord one day. And I was like, well, that's I got side just like, bam. What the fuck just happened? Damn, T- T-bone. sexy. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> cannot, cannot compute. <laughs> and now Hit him with the, I'm only 17. <laughs> <laughs> then, you're not 17 now, right? No, you're I'm an adult. Now. You can vote. The real mix-ups. I'm 19 now. The RL mix-ups. And it's just tall as shit. Oh, yeah. You realize that if you combine the age of you and say like something like Blue River or Sam, I'm still older than that? <laughs> I'm pretty God, close. young I'm kids. Close. <laughs> Man, Blue River's dad. He was MVP at freaking Combo Breaker. He's a funny guy. He was, oh, dad's here. Hi, Dweed. <laughs> Side like him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's like supposed to drive him home, and then like he's like, all right, uh, I got to go. And his dad's just sitting there watching Dragon Ball Fighters final. He's like, no, 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 hold on. <laughs> I think his dad plays Dragon Ball now, too. Yeah, I think he does. Cool guy. Is he good? It's funny. I, uh, I, I highly game. doubt it. I think he used to play a fighting game back well, in the day. Just in case he's like, I can't to this, remember I which think one. He's awesome. He's probably the best of Dragon Ball fighters. So, shout out to Blue River's dad. Who do you think Blue? Who do you think Blue River's dad's team is in Dragon Ball? Top tiers. Yeah, I think he's a kid. His son player. wouldn't lead him in the wrong way. No. Uh, Final Blue I'm River. not so sure about that. Probably like. He's got Kid Boo as a start, and then he's got. Like, I don't know shit about Dragon Ball, like, so I'm not. I don't know why. Neither do I. I'm like, just talking shit. Piccolo and Frieza. <laughs> yeah, you tell me like who Sonic Fox. I, I watched that stream. Sonic Fox and 
Goichi Evo Finals and all that stuff. I couldn't tell you what their teams are. Uh, Goichi had Cell. That's all I remember. Like I don't know any Gokus. of those characters. Eight Gokus. Fucking, I know Kid Buu. I know like Cell. Like Whoopi Goldberg's probably in there somewhere. What? <laughs> I don't know anything about freaking Dragon Ball. She Fox. sucks. Neither do I. She's low tier. I know there are guys that yell. And there's a new form all the time. That's about it. I know that when I try to watch it, I'm like, so this is what a seizure feels like. And that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't understand those. Like the I'm not trying games. to talk trash on the game. I wish I was into it. A lot of people seem to enjoy me it. Me too. Yeah, I, I kind of wish I got into it too because everyone tells me that with like the way I play in the sky so much that I'd really like it. Well, but, I think what's exciting is people that like the anime, right? They grew up with it. And it's yeah, just, see, that's the thing. I never got into fucking like stuff. And now it's like they have a game and they play just like they did in the anime or whatever. It's like come to life. And I think that's the mass appeal. And you can really tell is, yeah, the way it's, cool. it's the built bridges cool between so many game. fighting game communities. People that play any other fighting game you can think of. Oh, yeah, that's true. Dragon you Ball. Got Smash players playing it. You got yeah, the, the NRS players. Sonic Fox and, admits that Smash is a fighting game. Yeah. I didn't is. realize how big anime was. I thought it was a very niche thing, but apparently it's... Oh. Huge weebs like everywhere. It. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I see it more weebs now. Weebs everywhere. And that's how it was. Like, the art... What do they call it? The art uh, art street, art whatever, like at the tournaments, like where you have vendor booths and stuff. Almost everything was anime. Almost anything you could buy. Like, it was hard to find something yeah. that wasn't anime. Fighting games. When I was Fighting games high... and anime are tied pretty close for some yeah. reason. When I was in high school, the only anime... Artist Alley is what it's called. Oh, all the Japanese fighting games. That's most of them. There's, like, two two American companies. Like, people that make KI and NRS, pretty much, right? <laughs> Everything else is Asian. Yep. Yeah, it's true. So yeah. it makes sense. Well, no, who's making Omen of Sorrow? That game looks badass. Yeah, that's uh, South America. Never heard of it. Right? It's dude, it oh, that's right. Awesome. Yeah, they're... They're in South America. That's it's, right. It's, it so, kind of plays like MK a little bit. Like, like a weird... It looks like it's got that tone, right? Like definitely yeah. strong influence. Same kind of 2D fighting style with like uh, projectiles. and all Killer that Instinct shit. though too. The devs for Killer Instinct, they wanted to combine the best elements of Mortal Kombat. They've said, they're on the record saying, you know, Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. Like, right. So I wonder what they're going to pull from for this, right? They obviously have Mortal Kombat, at least in some regard, in mind. Yeah, because uh, uh, McFly is one of the main guys working on that game. So is who? He's, ETC McFly. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah, he's like a big Mortal Kombat name. He's been around for, for a nice. long time. And he's like in Mortal Kombat 9, right? Didn't he play? Uh, he played, well, I know he did some cool combo vids. Oh, wow. Like, he was... He was invited to the Invitational um, MKX tournament that they had at GBA. <laughs> did, did you guys see that? Like, before, I think it was like the week before MKX's release or something like that? You're not talking like, about Fatal 8, are you? Yeah, not, Fatal 8. Not, not Fatal 8. It was, uh, no, I didn't see it. It was uh, Shang Tsung Fight Night or something like that. And they sent out, like, um, all these invitations to, like, a bunch of players like Detroit Ballin was there. They had McFly was there. There was um, MK Dan from I think like is it Sweden? He's from somewhere somewhere over in Europe. All these names that didn't even end up in the MKX finals. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It, it was like a big exhibition of like all these guys like who were like really good back in the day or like had some sort of strong link to Mortal Kombat. We're all in this cool. tournament. It was really hype. It's actually really fun to watch. But, Does Detroit uh, Ballin? Fatal Eight was the play? first tournament. Fatal um, 8 was the reason that I got into fighting games. That, I remember watching it before MKX came out. And yeah, it was, yep, that was me too. Pretty hype. It was pretty hype. I remember I watched it. I was lose so badly and being so disappointed. Well, it's because Ketchup didn't know what the hell he was doing. Nobody knew what he was doing. <laughs> they had like, a day to Sonic really knew what he was doing. Yeah, that man downloaded just... the whole game in that one 30 That one day they had to prepare or whatever. At 30 he minutes just... he had to sit down. He yeah. probably went through every character. <laughs> Honed in on Aaron Black and he... Man... Oh, yeah. Oh, he destroyed. Overhead low command grab. Overhead low command grab. 2211. I wonder, I wonder <laughs> how his popularity would bullshit. be affected. Aaron Black, if Sonic Fox had played a different character in that. I think that gave that character a lot of momentum right out the gate. People are really here. excited to play Aaron Black That's after great. seeing him. Yeah, he definitely made the meta. He's a character that I wouldn't mind seeing in the next MK game. I really like him as a yeah. character. Oh, they okay. need a gunslinger cool. type character, right? Like the Dark Cowboy. They absolutely need that sort of archetype in the game, whether it's I, Aaron Black or somebody else, but I, they absolutely need to keep it. I'd really like to see more of his background story. And like, kind of find out yeah. more about where it came from, because like you know that he's actually from Earth Realm. He's an Earth Realmer, some Texas. hanging out in that world. Yeah. So I mean, he's, he's like been out right for a long, long time though. Well, new age slower out there, right? And that's the. Cordal. I can't wait to see Cordal again. 
Cold is a cool design. I didn't love his personality, but I love his aesthetic. I okay. hope he doesn't die. You didn't brutal. like his personality? Not really. You won't me, Devora. <laughs> you won't. All right, let's go uh, last topic here, and then we'll uh, we'll call her a day. What uh, what do you think the main storyline will be from Mortal Kombat 11? Like, what do you guys have any ideas of like how it went from MKX and how that ended? How they're gonna pick it up for the next one? Let's talk Man, first. Let's reiterate how MKX ended. 